Today was still 87, same as yesterday. The difference today is the record was 88, or I should say is. We almost got up to record warm today. Again, temperatures yesterday were the same, but the record yesterday was 90 degrees, so a little too close for record uh, territory. And we're going to stay in the mid to upper 80s through the weekend and into next week. Now, there is some slightly less humid air outside. Can you feel the difference? Eh, not much. Dew points are in the mid 60s compared to upper 60s and low 70s where we were yesterday. And actually, steadily, the dew points have have been dropping since earlier in the day, so that slightly drier air is starting to move in, but that's about as low as it's going to get. Few thunderstorms, most of us have stayed dry today, so rain coverage has been fairly limited, but where it is raining has been fairly heavy. Nothing severe. A marine warning has been issued for south of Lafourche and Jefferson with these thunderstorms that may be trying to move offshore, but around Galliano to Chauvin, Ontario, some fairly heavy rainfall that just is not moving anywhere. That should kind of almost rain itself out shortly and elsewhere. We have been under bright sunshine all day long. Temperatures in the 80s outside at the moment. And again, our high today was 87 dew points. Yeah, they're still not exactly fall like, but they did come down a little bit steadily since 11 AM. We've seen the dew points that began in the lower 70s fall into the mid to low 60s. That's probably about as low as they're going to get through the overnight and on into tomorrow. Not too far to our north where the really drier air or the drier air was able to reach Jackson dew points in the 40s and even low 50s as close as Hattiesburg. So that's about as far south as the driest of the air settle by tomorrow. We're going to start to see more of an east and then southeasterly wind and the muggies returned by Sunday and we will continue through next week. We'll also going to see some rain chances returning next week, Tuesday and mainly Wednesday, maybe some storms on Wednesday and then the fall feel is back by late next week. Here's what's going on right now. The front moved on through high pressure has moved in and overall not a bad looking weekend. A little too warm, a little too humid for me, and I'm sure a lot of us are ready to get back into that fall feel, but there are signs that it is coming into place. Now, even with that front moving on through, notice the core of the colder air and the drier air stayed well to our north. That's because the main energy with this trough stayed well to our north as well. That's going to be the trend through the weekend and early next Next week we remain warm. The north remains colder, but as we get into the middle of next week, here comes a deep trough and this is bringing in air from Canada that will be coming straight down to the south and east. So that is going to be the upper system that finally brings down the fall feel. And the good news is this is going into the latter part of next week is that the cooler and drier air should last through Halloween. All the models are indicating we'll probably start out on Sunday. That's next Sunday, Halloween with lows in the 50s and afternoon highs in the 70s. So it does look like as fall weather returns, it should stick with us through Halloween. Just, you know, part of the season. Our temperature forecast going into late next week, Wednesday, high temperatures into the low 80s. And then here comes the front temperatures by Thursday morning start dropping. We'll rebound into the low mid 70s during the day on Thursday. And so we'll finally get that more fall and seasonal air back as we get toward later next week. Tonight, though, not really the case. Little less humid, but probably still dew points high enough to get a little fog to develop overnight with lows in the 60s and low 70s. For tomorrow, not a bad day. Mix of sun, maybe partly cloudy skies at times, and a high of around 85. Again, I'm saying not as humid, still on the muggy side, and certainly turning more humid with a southeasterly wind Sunday and Monday. Chance for some showers Tuesday, maybe a stormy day on Wednesday with the front and temperatures dropping quite a bit by early or excuse me, late next week. Oh, I love seeing those 70s on the yes. map. We move out of the way again. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, Chris. The Washington Parish Fair.